Okay, I've got a busy day ahead of me and I have one project in mind for today for you folks that I want to get done. Namely, I'm looking to make some soundproofing, some sound deadening for in this space. This is my living room and I'm gonna turn it into a studio space. And I'm gonna be making a series of videos about that in the very near future. Today, today only, is just about making my own sound blankets. This space needs some type of sound treatment. You probably hear the echo in here right now. It's really not great because there's nothing in here right now. There's one sound panel that I made myself. It's literally some wood and a towel that I created a sound deadening panel out of. It kind of works, but I need a lot more than that if I'm actually gonna film in this space on a regular basis. Sound blankets are an excellent option for knocking down some of the sound deadening in large areas. Rather than buying a whole bunch of this foam stuff that's not really cost effective and honestly, if you get the really cheap stuff that is still more expensive than what I'm gonna be showing you, then it really doesn't work that well. <clears throat> we're gonna head to the store, we're gonna see what options we can come up with for making our own sound blankets rather than buying the pre-made ones that exist, which I'm gonna tell you right now, the ones that are intended to actually be sound blankets, I'm sure are more functional than what I'm going to do, but I can make like a dozen of the ones that I'm going to do for the cost of one good sound blanket. So, you know, you're gonna to have to decide what's worth it for you. Let's head out to the store. Temperature wise, it's great out right now, but unfortunately it's getting gray. It looks like rain. I've got stuff to get done today, so no fancy B-roll in this video, I don't think. We're gonna head into the store, that store being Harbor Freight Tools. I'm not sure that Harbor Freight is the most affordable place I could be picking this stuff up. For you folks, I'm gonna throw links down in the description to Amazon so you can get these things there if they're reasonably priced. I haven't checked prices honestly on Amazon yet. I know I can pick this stuff up at Harbor Freight, so that's what I'm gonna do so I can get this job done today because I've got a lot on my plate. Let's head in to Harbor Freight. So the primary item we're looking for is moving blankets. I've got a handful of them right here. They're available in three sizes here, I believe. There's the 40 by 72 inch, the 72 by 80 inch. The 40 by 72 inch are black, so that'll be good for most people, I think. The 72 by 80 inch are blue, less good for most folks, kind of annoying, depending on your studio setup. I like the color blue, and I'm gonna be using blue and kind of gray tones in my space, so that could work. I'm primarily looking to cover the windows, so the 40 by 72 are gonna be great, and the 40 by 72 are only $4.99 here, so that's a pretty darn good deal. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat that with Amazon pricing, but I'll try. Let's go find the other items I need. Don't see. Of course, now I'm having a hard time finding the other items I need. Where are they? Finding what I need is proving harder than I thought, but I finally found it. Our next item is this half inch grommet kit. This is what we're gonna use to hang the soundproofing blankets, moving blankets, the sound deadening, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna use these on the corners to go ahead and hang it. Let's check it out. Mission accomplished in Harbor Freight. Time to head home and put this all together. Okay, so now we have the actual pieces we're gonna be using. The grommet kit was the harder one to find in the store, but they did have it. It's intended for repairing a tarp, I'm gonna be using it to go ahead and create hanging points on these blankets to create my sound absorption blankets. I've got my helper here who's gonna be in the way half the time, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and tackle this. It's really straightforward. You need three things. You need a razor blade or a utility knife, a tape measure, a marker, and a hammer. That's four things. You need four things. So that's what we're gonna do right now. What we're doing is really straightforward. We're gonna mark each corner where we want with the tape measure and the Sharpie to go ahead and find where we're gonna put our hanging points. I'm gonna be hanging this from the ceiling, so I'm gonna get pretty close to the edge for my hanging points. Let's go. Now I'll use a utility knife to cut through that spot because the grommet, it might be able to punch through that area as I hammer it in, but I'd rather not make it do that. It'll be a lot better, cleaner job if I cut a little spot for that grommet to slip through. That's the next step. Yeah. 
The grommet installation tool does come with a hole punch. I just don't find that it works very well on this material because it's really meant to be working on like plasticky tarp, not so much on this like fibrous material with material in between. Each grommet has two pieces. It's a washer and the actual grommet itself. And it also comes with this anvil piece. You go ahead and set the grommet on the anvil and then stick that through your hole. They're being very helpful. Once I have the grommet and the anvil through the material, I set the washer onto the other side, and then I use this setter to go ahead and just kind of drive it down and roll over the lip of the grommet onto the washer. So now I just need to go ahead and put one of these grommets everywhere I intend to hang this thing or need to hang it up from something. So on for me, I'm gonna do it on all four corners. You'll see why when I'm done. Let's get to it. All right, took me about 25 minutes to do four of these. I did three of the 72 inch by 40 inch wide ones. Those are for like windows, door openings, but now I'm gonna hang them up, which I'm using these little hooks here. So they should allow me to hang these up without having to be too intrusive to my walls and screw into the walls or anything like that because I do rent this place. So that is one of the considerations. It's one of the reasons I'm doing this. You don't have to use the grommets for these, like I have used them before where I just screw them into wood or something where I need to, to hang them up temporarily or, but the, the grommets really do help. If you want to hang these off of maybe say a C-stand, you could do that maybe right behind the camera, right behind the microphone area to, to block off a big open space. You could use these hanging off say a C-stand or something like that with maybe like shower hangers would work to hang them once you have the grommets on there. I put four grommets on these so that I can go ahead and hang them up. I could fold this one up and hang it up off of the top there. So I'm not always blocking this window, especially I don't have central air. So I use this window for an air conditioning unit in the summer. The whole idea here is to, to block out bouncing noises. These things work pretty darn well to go ahead and muffle down sound. These aren't perfect. I'm not gonna claim for a second they are the same as buying real acoustic sound deadening blankets. But honestly, for me, I'm okay with this method. I bought four of these, three of the smaller ones, one of the larger ones, and the grommet kit all for $30. It was $30 at Harbor Freight. I'm gonna see what kind of prices I can find on Amazon, throw those links into the description down below so you could go ahead and do this for yourself in your space. They're not the prettiest thing in the world, so you know you might not wanna use them where they're visible. They're better in, in behind the camera situations for, for blocking down the sound, and that's primarily where I'm gonna use them. When I'm all done, you will see this one, but it's just nature of the beast. There's a window there. I need to cover that up somehow. So I hope you understood what I was going for here. Oh, you can see one of the other sound deadening panels back there I've made. That is literally a towel over some wood frame. So uh, let me know if you wanna see how I make that too. That's also a low budget sound deadener. The blankets work a little bit better, but that looks significantly better for your space when you have it visible. So let me know what you think. Drop a video like if you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you gonna use this method? Are you gonna buy some real blankets for yourself? Should I get a haircut? Yeah, whatever. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel to see whatever random nonsense I'm doing. I'm gonna be making more videos very soon, I promise. Thanks for coming around, folks.